Welcome to the Blue Dolphin News Network. I'm Mason. And I'm Layla. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now our school motto. Be safe, live responsibly, understand, respect, and encourage each other. Go Blue Dolphins! You may, you may be seated. Our joke of the day. What's a snowman's favorite drink? I don't know. What is it? Iced tea. Here's a fun well, fact. Evergreen trees stay green all oh, winter. Quote of the day by George Sean. We do not stop playing because we will grow old. We will grow old because we will stop playing. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing Blue Dolphin Day. day. Birthday celebration. Good morning, amazing human beings. I am so excited to be here with you today. We are celebrating Black History Month, and I'm so excited to begin that off with um, somebody that's super awesome, who our school is named after, Dr. Maya Angelou. And I'm so excited to bring this to you because not only is she a positive person to look up to, she's a writer, she's a poet, she's an activist, she was a professor right here in New York, um, just an amazing person who came through a lot of trials and tribulations, right? She kind of had to go through a lot to become where she was, but nothing stopped her from following her dreams, from inspiring people. Her writing is amazing. It's powerful. Her poetry is so beautiful. We have a whole school named after her, right? So we're going to do a little bit of a reading on her, and I am so excited to get started on that. So let me share my screen. Today's Read Aloud is about Maya Angelou, who had one of the most memorable voices in American culture. Little People, Big Dreams, Maya Angelou. Written by Elizabeth Kaiser. Marguerite was born in the city of St. Louis. Her brother called her Maya. When Maya was four, she and her brother were sent to live with their grandmother in Stamps, Arkansas. Growing up in the South, Maya was treated unfairly because of the color of her skin and because she was a girl. The world outside was very cruel. Home was hard too. When Maya was eight, her mother's boyfriend attacked her. Maya was so upset she stopped talking. A friend of her grandmother's named Mrs. Flowers noticed that Maya was afraid to use her voice. Mrs. Flowers showed Maya all kinds of wonderful books and how the words come alive when you read them out loud. Maya found her voice again in the stories and poems of great writers. She loved words so much she read every book in the library.
Even though Maya was a great student, she was told that she couldn't get a job because of the color of her skin. But she had pride and hope. She thought, there's nothing I can't be. was right. She was a cook and a streetcar conductor. She was a dancer, a singer, and an actress. She traveled the world and learned to speak a lot of languages. At home in America, she worked to help all people get treated equally. It wasn't until Maya was all grown up that she decided she wanted to be a writer. So she began writing a book about her life. She told the story of a little girl who struggled through hard times but didn't give up. People all around the world were moved by her powerful story and her beautiful words. Maya became a famous writer, teacher, and speaker, inspiring everyone with the belief that you can be anything you want to be. On the day Bill Clinton became president, Maya read a poem. She had once been a little girl who was afraid to use her voice. Now she was speaking to the entire country about her favorite thing. Maya Angelou is one of the most memorable voices in American culture. Born Marguerite Annie Johnson in St. Louis, Missouri, she spent most of her childhood in a small town in the South. There, she faced a lot of unfairness because of her skin color. When she was eight, she was attacked by her mother's boyfriend and she stopped speaking for five years. In that time, she grew to love books and found power and strength in words. Maya overcame her childhood struggles and went on to lead a marvelous life. She became a dancer, singer, actress. Isn't this a beautiful story about her? These are pictures of her, and I really love seeing these pictures of her over time, right? Over like a timeline. So I love her story because it's so inspirational, right? The fact that she lost her voice and then someone believed enough in her to say, you know what? I'm going to like help her find her voice again right just shows the power of human connection right making sure that we're there for each other and even if it's something as small as helping a friend with a math problem or maybe a reading problem I and mean, that could be really big for them or something that's even bigger than that maybe reading to your little brother or sister every single night or helping out in the household right those are all like little things that, that can really make a big difference. So I want to make sure that we remember like our school's called after this phenomenal woman, right? And that's one of her poems, actually, phenomenal woman. And that's what she was. Um, and our school's named after her. So it's so important to know that we can aspire, we should want to aspire to be someone just like Dr. Maya Angelou, someone who our school's named after. Have a super amazing day.